So the ORD workspace structure, the it it's a uh, building blocks. And so the the first level is the system level. And so the system level workspace is going to be contained in the C drive. And then I go to the program files folder, Bentley, Open Roads Designer CE. You, if you have side by side installations, it'll be the first two numbers. So 1011 is the most recent right here. And then in this config folder, this, um, this holds all the system level app, uh, configuration. So this is what is needed to load open roads designer. Um, most users will not be making changes here, which is why it's in that programs file folder and it's separate from everything else related to the workspace. So then the next level is the organization level. So the next three levels are going to be found if I go back to the C drive, to this program data folder. And if you don't see it, this is a hidden folder. So you'll need to go to this view tab and check hidden items to see it. So it's in this program data folder, the Bentley folder, and it's the same two folder names. So I wanna pick this 1011 because that's the version I'm gonna be working within configuration, and then here, organization civil. This contains the organization level of the workspace. So this is the next block. This is typically going to contain company-wide standards that are going to apply no matter what. So say you have a title block that uses your company logo, and that's going to be placed on your title block, no matter what, that would be held here in the organization level. So no matter what DOT or who, which client you're working on, this is where you're gonna want to hold those type of standards. Um, and then something else to note about the workspace is that you can see that there's, right here, I have two organizations. Um, this is what we deliver. We have uh, an imperial organization and then a metric. You can see there's the folder names um, and the, the names of the folders are the names of the organization level and that the CFGs, they match that folder name. So that's gonna apply for the organization, the workspace and the work set. Um, so I'll go back to this configuration folder. And so the next level is this workspace level. So in here are all of the workspaces that Bentley delivers. And um, this is where you could define a specific discipline or you could incorporate different DOTs. You can see here that the it, workspaces also have a CFG and it matches the folder name. Um, so within here, within the standards folder would be where you would contain everything, um, say, for a specific DOT. So the next level of the workspace structure is the work set. So I'm gonna go into this Imperial Standards folder. This is one of our workspaces that we deliver. And so every single workspace contains a work sets folder. So a work sets is going to be synonymous with the word project. So every time you hear work set, think project, you know, you can kind of use them interchangeably. So these are gonna be specific projects that you're working on. Um, Everyone has nomenclatures on how they define these. Um, for my example, right, Project ABC, super simple right there. Um, so these are going to contain any of your standards that are specific to the project. So say you have a template for your corridor that is only gonna apply to this project, it would be contained um, within this folder, within the standards. Um, in the template library for that project. So you only want this ITL to open when you're within this project. So it would be stored there. Um, you can see this also has the CFG and that the names match. And then there's that DG and WS that we'll talk about later. And that is set, the default location is set right here in the root location for the work stats. And then the next level I wanted to talk about is the user level. So to get to the user level, you'll go back to your C drive. You'll select the users folder, your username, and then app data. So that's another hidden folder. So you'll want to make sure that your hidden items are checked. So we'll go into app data, local, 
Bentley open rights designer 10.0.0. And so this is going to contain anything on how open roads designer looks for you personally. So for example, right here, it's going to contain all of the recent files that you opened. It'll remember what workspace and work set was the most recent that was loaded. It will, um, it'll remember which blocks you have um, docked so you can undock them and dock them. And then whenever you do a file save settings, that is going to be saved to your user level. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.